Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. Whether you're chilling on your couch or in your coffin, stay tuned with us to keep you entertained. Today, John Zerka exposes the Vatican, Hollywood, and gives advice to young men. Let's see what this is about. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. books i would always watch like they were the first jordan peterson's to me and it was cool that he was counterculture back then because a lot of people say he'd be with trump and i don't know about that bro i don't know i don't know i don't know when I, I it's not like recently i watched Hitchens, but i just remember and he gives me that feeling of like good content like who's someone who gives you that feeling of they're great content, but you know at the end that they're hearted. For me, that's Hitchens. You. <laughs> uh, what about Serbs? I've never met a Serb that wasn't... Look, man, I'm not saying this because I'm Albanian. I'll, I'll talk about Albanians too. Let's say there's a lot of mafia gangs or whatever. But I've never met a Serbian guy who wasn't a scammer. Like, straight up. Like, some of them can hide it for a few years, and then they can f*** you over if they have your password to your sh But... <sighs> Baby Nez is your friend? Well, no, she was the bottle girl, I was the bouncer. That was the relationship. And now we're creator friends. Yeah, I've never had, I've never had a female friend. My, I th what's the point of that? And that's before... That, I was ready. Yeah, I mean, guys and girls aren't meant to be friends, right? Like, friends with benefits, okay. But friends? Red pilling at 20 years old, bro. Hard red, not fake red. Like, Myron, like. <clears throat> Thoughts on HS on Misfits? Yeah, I told you guys months ago, and you guys said I'm uh, A month ago, and you guys all said I'm lying. But I told you he was going to. I knew about that from his manager. I knew he was going to take that career path. That's why I kind of forced it. And now, um, like, nobody's going to be on my side until you guys see me well-trained. And then when I'm well-trained and the videos come out sparring all that, then you guys will be like, okay, it, why is HS not taking the fight now? This is going to get a lot of views. And then he's going to just do these boxing shit. Like, it's so cringe what he did, bro. Uh, I have no idea what he's talking about. I didn't make HS, bro. Don't ever say that because he's known for scamming his audience with crypto. Oh, HS Tiki Toki. Oh, that, the, the guy that Zerka fought with on the street. So that looks like I'm a part of that. I've never scammed my audience. If anything, I do resent you guys for how much free I've given you guys over the years, but that was my mistake. I didn't know you're supposed to pay wall the genius parts of your advice. Yeah, ban the guy saying Kosovo Serbia because look, I'm going I'm to be honest, bro. This is not an Albanian position. Serbians started three wars, and then they just lost all three. Like <laughs> that was funny. This is not an Albanian position. <laughs> if you're gonna start wars, you gotta, you know what I mean? Like, like Bosnians don't like him, and Croatians don't like him, and all. What are the chances the guys who all argue Bosnians, Croatians, Albanians? What are the chances all three team up against you? It's like, clearly you're doing some fucking Zio shit. And Milosevic was put in uh, in there by G And then they also wanted to split up Kosovo. But it wasn't that big of a deal. And the truth is, back then NATO wasn't... Now NATO, they're wearing dresses. we got to fix NATO, bro. By the way, I hate the tanky position of... NATO is just satanic. I think even Nick and Taz, they have that position. Bro, it's about fixing NATO, not deleting it, you know? Or taxing the out of European allies. How NATO is wearing dresses. Again. Let, let's move on. What that? Like what Trump did? That's a better strat. What's your favorite Albanian meal? Ooh. Damn. Damn, I'm blank. I hate questions like that because I blank. Uh, favorite Albanian dish? 
Serbian esophagus cooked by NATO. <laughs> I don't know. Barack is the obvious choice for most people, right? Clinton was a real good guy, huh? Look, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Clint, Bill Clinton was my favorite president up until the leaks and Trump, and then I found out a little too much. But I'm not gonna say he's not an effective president. I mean, he dropped it to like 4.5, 5 percent unemployment rate. He was effective for a for a blue team. For a blue uh, team, lol. But. Yeah, we'll fix the po Oh, this guy's going for mod. Reminding me to fix my posture. Oh, hell yeah. Are you scared of Gary? I'm not, I'm, dude, I'm not afraid of no one on earth, bro. When you believe in Christ, humans look like so pathetic, bro. Like, like, here's something that'll blow you guys. This is mind. A Christian with weak faith is pretty much heavily, not all the way, but heavily immune to black magic. Did you know that? The problem is when you get into magic and learning about that stuff, you start getting paranoid of what's happening to you or what's coming through the TV and stuff. And the paranoia weakens your faith in God. And you're focusing too much on evil and then it starts harming you. But uh, I like calling them clueless Christians. Those Christians who just don't worry about nothing except the Bible, family, and career, and the career is connected to the Bible somehow, or at least in a charitable way. I have no idea what he's talking about here. Uh, sounds like schizophrenia to me. Yeah, those guys are kind of invincible. Like, like when people say escape the Zio Matrix, there is a lot of white Christian neighborhoods that look like they're totally free. They have big backyards, they're countryside, but close enough to the city, and uh, they can say slurs, and they're too rich to be harmed, and um, usually they have good relationships with everyone, so they're just like, yeah, evil just doesn't affect them. Like, they, they're, they're still in the system, but... I, I love when people say stuff like, no, we, we YouTubers are more watched than CNN now, and... It's not even close, bro. Stop. It. Indeed. You know, like if, if Fox News wants to do like an event, they get like 25 million watchers. Like, guys, mainstream media shapes our society. It's more important than money. It's, that spell casting is more important than money. Trust me. Like, if you could give me one power, I wouldn't choose money, banking. I would just choose mainstream media. And you can, I could start a revolution in like a week. I, if I wanted to with mainstream media right like if you gave me CNN and Fox News and put me on in front of the whole American population and I just said this aren't you tired of every piece of media you look through spitting and pissing on Jesus Christ your savior and Americans will snap out of their uh, into Christians they'll be like yeah I'm tired of it but they're so and lazy that you know like to be honest you guys did digging to find me if I was on mainstream media you wouldn't have to dig I would just be right in your face that's why it's like the real the realest people are here but the real people don't change the world bro we gotta get on Fox we gotta get on all that <clears throat> you're afraid to s leak the real stuff because of paycheck what you know how much illegal shit I've done? Leaking? Like, if I. The only stuff that's not fully leaked is the stuff that would probably get me arrested. I wish we could put humans on a lie detector test and ask them who is the free speech king, Zerka or Andrew Tate, just to see the. Neither. The scores of deception and how fake people really are. You know? Like, I'm gonna be honest, bro. I shit on Sneeko. I shit on Tate, I shit on these guys, and mine's methodical, it was a step-by-step, step, right, gain fame, more, boom, 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 and now I'm peaking, I think I should pull back a bit, why didn't you talk about Massimo, and 
I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm the first person to do the Rome thing. I'm the first person to do the Vatican, and the, it's the same reason I don't talk about rabbis by name, is I cannot remember the names. Like, have you noticed when I talk about top rabbis, I'll tell you their business so you can find them, but I don't remember names. Like, when Massimo family, like, bro, you expect me to remember all that? I don't do my speeches like the other political guys where they're like, they have notes and shit. I'm just going off what I, you know? Like, I'm never going to remember. If you say the names, I'll copy-paste you. But uh, those it Italian names are so hard to remember. He just sounds like um, like a bit of schizophrenia. Right. All, all I can remember, really, is Epstein and Weinstein. <laughs> That's it. From the JQs. Dude's ego is so large. It, my ego is large because I'm genuinely a genius. Yeah, okay. I started reading a year ago and I'm already internationally known as one of the best debaters on my, you know how hard that for for theology and all the tough subjects people get nine eight year mat 10 year master's degrees to get five viewers doing what I do and I'm at millions you know this is very I beg you guys to try and do what I do with the Bible and see how many viewers you get I'm telling you, the only people who ever tell me I'm a genius are scholars who've mastered the Bible and, and they've got master's degree on the Bible. And then they go, oh shit, the, your packaging is just perfect. Like the youth is going to eat it up. The 40 year old guys who watch Die Hard are going to eat it. Like literally, my Christianity is branded for everyone. Yeah, he's just, he just has the right look. That's it. And the right voice to boost my viewer count, but only the core to come with me because uh, I'm not selling, hey, the woman belongs in the kitchen. This is Christianity. No, doghouse, and guess what? We're going to her too, okay? She's barking a little too loud. Yeah, our Christianity is real Christianity. Like, we don't f around, bro. You know what I mean? This is real. No one, 8 billion people on earth, no one has a channel like this. This is free speech. It's comedy. We're not being one. It's just comedy. Puss Eater says you are not a Christian. Okay. No comedy right now. I'm the only Christian channel on earth besides Nick. The rest don't even believe in it. For them, it's a fashion statement, political statements. I could even make the argument that I'm the only dude. I get punched in the face being a Christian in public. Like, <laughs> I do this. No, I'm the only crusader on earth. Uh, fighting muzzies, they blow up, bro. If you punch them too hard, they blow up. Bro, for God, Tate was the most Googled man on earth. Tate's dad was a CIA linguist. If my dad was. <laughs> fed pretty sure I'd have better algorithm connections than my Masonic brother okay Tate is boring as yeah I still remember when my chat used to tell me react to him and I'm like I don't have the attention span because people who loop and say the same stuff over and over again are salesmen you can't do it um I need to start looping more because that's why I'm saying the craziest shit this week is because I'm I've ran out. Bro. I'm, I'm yeah, uh, I mean ultimately, like for example, my channel just says the same crap over and over, right? That's I I didn't know it was called looping, but that is what I do. It isn't wrong to say that I do that. And I haven't even been subtle. I've I said that I this channel is for making money, so it doesn't mean that I don't have useful crap to say. But like, that's how it is. Like again, most people don't tell the truth. They just say whatever, right? They just whatever it takes. I'll actually tell you the truth. Again, I I think I should have more people for coaching. If you ask me, because. I'll actually help you. The the, pe the people that I've had for coaching, 
they've all thanked me for actually helping them. So again, like, it's up to you. If, if you actually want help and you want to do better in your life, like, I'll help you. But again, you can lead a horse to water, right? I'm literally, they're going to lock me up for, I've pushed the free speech to a place that it should not be right now. It's like, I've pushed the over 10 window and I'm spawning copycats. But they suck at it, so. By the way, if you copy my content, but you're pushing Christ, I will never attack. Even if you shit on me, I'll never attack your channel. Look at my history. I've never, ever attacked. I'll, I, I can make fun of an ally, but I, if you're pushing Christ, I can't even make a little joke. I'm as loyal to Christians as Nick is to me. Like, when I came on the scene, Nick's like, I love this guy. He's a chat. He's this. And everyone's like, yeah, he's he's on co He's this. And Nick is Nick has this clip. Someone find it on Twitter. I mod you. He pulled, he had this clip on his chat. He has like 8,000 viewers peaking. And he just starts talking about me. And he goes, well, where in the Bible does it really say you can't do co I mean, this is just all ambiguous stuff. And when you look at the research, it's not like, hey. And then the stuff that, and I'm like this. Just denounce me. I'm clearly around. Just denounce me, and he wouldn't do it. And I'm like, what? So if I, if maybe Nick is gonna be like, yeah, well, where in the Bible exactly? Like the guy is so loyal to. That is the most loyal political art. That's how I know he's actually a Christian. I'm like, man, he just. If it was the other way around, I'd be like, yeah, no, I don't think Nick should be doing blow. But he's a good Christian. I would have done something like that. He just went all in. I was like, what the f***? And, uh... Okay. Again, this guy just rambles. Like, and and he says he's a legitimate genius. I have yet to see that. Um, genius in that he's a comedian that people like? I, I don't... When I told him about it, he just laughed with his chat. They're all dying laughing. I'm like, wow. You know? I know I'm loyal, but I gotta be that loyal. Like, he's like willing to get crazy, crazy written about him because not for what he said, for what Zerka said. That's crazy. I'm gonna be real. How do you like Americans so much? Bro, Americans are the rulers of Earth. No, they're not. <laughs> oh. Listen, USA, spam USA in chat, man. Everyone on Earth loves the u.s microphone game got you. certainly they follow the united states's lead here's the truth man u.s has a dark shadow that i love to expose but u.s is the only fighting chance on earth without the u.s it's slave system that's the truth okay Europe is horrible. Asia is useless Muslims are bought out uh, don't get South South America got their own economic issues it's over dude it's this is it baby this is it this is the last Yeah. Yeah, I love America. Yeah. I chose this a long time ago, but, you know, I'm in the right side of history. For sure. For sure I am. <coughs> and what I like about Americans is, this is not really an insult, but they can be turned. You know? Like, you know how many American atheists I've turned into Christians? Like, it's not hopeless. Imagine, I always talk about uh, 1,400, 1,400 I converted in my first week, um, which is weird because a lot of you guys were giving me your like high school information. Like, don't do that. Dude. It was good, so it's not like spam, but it was also like you guys are giving a little too much. Like, yeah, I'm not going to do anything with it, but you guys should definitely never contact an influencer with your name, high school, all that life story and and then say you how you became a christian it's like a little too much bro. 
Like, assume I got hacked. You're, yeah, you're giving too much power to the person. And all that leeway. You guys saying slurs and shit in those emails? Are you saved by faith or works? What's the difference? <laughs> that faith alone argument will never make sense to me. Because the whole Bible is about Jesus doing actions, good deeds. Uh, and teaching us faith and praying. But like, How are you not getting the Bible, bro? Catholics got it right. How does everything lead back to Jesus? It's simple. Do you want the dinosaur timeline of history or Genesis? Scholars, billionaires, Freemasons, bankers, they all go by a timeline of 6,000 years ago. Especially, I'm talking about the, the sages in Israel, the rabbis, the rabbis. They go by 6,000. Five, six, whatever. So if the rulers are going by a timeline of history of just 6,000 years and you're going on the timeline they gave you with dinosaurs and all this stupid shit. Yeah. And here's how you should see it. If Now we're on another planet. This is obviously garbage. Everyone on Earth believes in the original timeline with dinosaurs and billions of years, blah, blah, blah. Everyone on Earth got back. And everyone on Earth, search up average IQ. It's going to terrify you. The average IQ is almost like at an animal's level or a, or a reef. And the average IQ is... The average IQ is 100. What, what the hell is he talking about? The dinosaur belief. But people are um, more stupid now than they used to be. That is true because of TikTok. Believer, alien believer evolutionist darwinist that's why i sound crazy is like i'm saying the truth that's why people freak them you don't believe in dinosaurs <laughs> no i don't okay uh fossil record evolution by natural selection as demonstrated in laboratories worldwide okay Again, agree to disagree. The one I had the most trouble dropping was of. Appreciate that. You burn bridges with Andrew Shaw's. Yeah, I know my manager and my whole team got angry at that because DJ Academics texted Andrew Shaw's, you got to get Zerk on the show. And he said, yeah. That guy's crazy. Definitely got to get him on. This is like when I was in New York this year. Uh, but I'm too loyal, bro. If you attack Myron, you're attacking me. That's it. Period. End of story. I can delay my success more. I've done it for so many of my homies. I've done it for Heel Mike with the aid and stuff. I'll never, ever have that weird feeling where I'm like this. And then Myron feels that, like, oh, this, 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 hell no. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I love Heal Mike. He wouldn't do the same for me. Not at that, the way I do it for him. I love, I love a lot of people. Appreciate that. I love Fresh from Fresh Fit, but he wouldn't have my back 100% like I have his. This would be like 70, 60. I love a lot of people. Sneeko, not only Myron has ever like 100% been. Bro, I can't tell you how many people. He Myron doesn't ban them from Fresh and Fit. He just doesn't like them because I said something bad about them. And he forgot I said it. But listen, man. The closest brain to mine is Myron's. If you cut out my reckless behavior and shit, it's... I can't even imagine what I would disagree with Myron on. Myron is uh, actually smart. Fresh is a disaster. He's an idiot. Right? Like, there's nothing. Um, like, when I met him, I was like, privately, I told him, I'm like, you're a little more soft with women than me, though. 
And then we started talking, and no, we're on the same page. Well, I should say. Yeah, he's not he's not soft. He he just I'm sure he controls some stuff on the on the side, you know, when where people aren't actively watching. No, Myron's <laughs> thank you, man. I appreciate you, bro. Get him in the Discord. Get roll this guy up. Now check it out, dude. Um someone said Myron's pro choice. Yeah, I can't have it all. He's ninety nine percent good. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that's gonna change too, you know. I think uh, I think Myron will not be a spiritual, political guy in the future, but he will defend religions hard. Just like ninety nine percent of right wing channels like mine, they defend religion. They don't believe it. They defend it, but they have faith. They have faith when they're live, but when they're offline. There's no prayer. There's no... Um, I'm just going to say t uh, tick. But I have, a, I have a Christ tick. Where maybe every... Appreciate that. Let's go. I have a Christ tick where like every 10, 20 minutes of my day, whether I'm up 22 hours or, or whatever... Every 10, 20 minutes a day, I will do like a two-second meaning prayer just to uh, del delete any evil that I just thought of. You know how you have evil thoughts? To, to expel it. And no. E. Adon. Just text me, bro. Uh, yeah. You know. All right. I'm going to end uh, the video there. Uh, hit the like, hit the sub, hit all the notifications. Drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian L, Tom and Bobby, Dylan, Renaissance Press, and Brian, shout out to you, most recent Patreon subscriber. Thank you. My Patreon can be found at patreon.com slash the Helios blog. Buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios books. Uh, if you'd like coaching, just email me at the Helios blog at gmail.com and I'll slot you right in. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Especially if you listen to the end, I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time.